on my way to hospital because I've sustained like an eating related injury. So it's classic me. Um, so the other day when I said I bit my tongue when I was having that kimchi stuff, um, it actually was really bad. And so at the time it didn't feel so bad and it didn't really bleed that much. Then when it healed, it's like a, I won't go into the details, but basically it's, it's, like, it's, it's like split. So my tongue hasn't really come back together. It's like the deepest cut. I mean, I don't, don't usually bite my tongue that bad, but I've never bitten it this badly bad to go to hospital. So it's, it hasn't really healed in terms of coming back together. So um, I thought I should get it checked out. So I was on my way to check out the uh, Korean healthcare. So apparently it's not expensive or anything. So the healthcare's quite good. So pretty nice in there. I feel calm from all the wood and the muted lighting. It's a difference like the UK where it's all like very really clinical and white and there's like soothing music in the background and uh, nice smells as well. And even after I sanitized my hands they gave me like a little uh, some moisturizer so some nicely scented as well. So I don't know if this is really high end and I'm gonna get stung but I don't think so. I've got told that everything's very very cheap here and the, the, the standards are really good. Like a proper espresso machine. <laughs> this little phone. So when I say I bit my tongue, I really took a lump out of it. So we're going to stitch up my tongue so I get some sutures in. So in the moment, um, I've had my tongue injected uh, it's quite painful so it's numb so I can't really talk properly uh, wait five ten minutes so my tongue's a bit numb so if I sound a bit weird then that'll be why they gave me stitches so he stitched up my tongue um, yeah, it was all right. The, the pain, yeah, the injection was a little bit painful for my Myers water, and then I just had to sit there with my tongue open and the doctor just uh, stitching it up. And the, the lady came in and she was worried about how much it costs. She was just like, oh, "I'm sorry," because like, the, the initial consultation's twenty thousand won, which is about fifteen pounds. And she says, oh, "I forgot to tell you that the, the stitches are going to cost a lot of money." And I was like, "Okay." And then she said it's 100,001, which is about 60 pounds. I was like, okay, that's absolutely fine. I mean, I should be able to claim it on insurance, but even if I don't, you know, 60 pounds for like a, so I think that was like a private clinic as well. So it was, as you can see, how, how nice it was. It was like, felt, felt like a high-end hotel or something. And so for, to be seen like instantly uh, for, for 70 pounds uh, to get it stitched up, it's, it's great. So really impressed with that. Also, obviously, it means spicy food and hot foods are out for a little bit, but I can cope with that. It's just so funny though, like you come out here thinking maybe stuff to do with Corona, or I might injure myself in a dance class or uh, in a martial art class or whatever, but it happens, it's like me eating. Doing, <laughs> I've literally never done that in my life, like injured myself eating to the point of having to go to, to a clinic. So, <laughs> um, so it just shows you that these random things can happen. It's a bit like in quarantine as well, like, I've got this random infection under my fingernail. Like again, like wasn't, I've never had that in my life before, but somehow it happened on this trip as well. So it just shows you, you can't really, <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen. But, um, but what is good is that, yeah, if something does happen, then I feel very um, happy and safe knowing that it will get sorted out. So I also like how they give their prescription for their pills as well. So I've got some antibiotics to take, but it's like, uh, Free pills, well, three times a day for three days. So, I keep seeing this shard shaped building here. It's quite interesting what that is. We'll walk around the Seoul forest area. It's really nice and chilled. Gas buildings. <laughs> yeah, so this area is called Songsu. It's next to the Seoul Forest, and it's a big, really cool area. 
lots of people walking dogs, drinking coffee. It's the kind of place you do that. Um, so I look forward to seeing these kind of neighbourhoods. Yeah, my friend Matty lives here, so she's giving me the lowdown on some of the neighbourhoods to hang out to do this kind of stuff. And so I'm looking forward to seeing them. Dog, coffee, beer. Coffee, pet food, beer. Too much talker. <laughs> I think it's a cafe where you can take your dog in. Yes. I'm fine, you corn. Enjoying by the uh, by the Oakley. It's quite funny actually, um, so I can't eat. Well, they told me I had to have cold, well, nothing hot, so I've got a cold, cold coffee, but also with Oakley, it's actually the first time I've had some Oakley, so I mean, usually I'm obsessed with it, so it's nice to have that. Um, and then they said no hot food, so for me that just meant cold. <laughs> These are called terrines, so they're like uh, matcha terrine and uh, Oreo, so definitely sweet. Um, hopefully it's good for my tongue, but we'll see. Oh yeah, the other thing I forgot to mention was I saw some savoury things on the menu, like chicken and beef. And then <laughs> when I nearly went to order it, she was like, no, 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 dog, dog, dog menu. <laughs> it was like dog food. So, Nearly, nearly got some dog food. Probably would have been quite nice though. Yeah. Probably had some of the doggy treats. So I don't really know what these are, but it's a bit like walking on bubble wrap. It's really satisfying. I don't know if it cleans your shoes. 